Hi guys, today I'm going to uh, display my rarest cigars as you can see here displayed on the table. I'm going to uh, describe uh, briefly each one of them, what cigar it is. And also I'm displaying the actual scotch that goes with each of the cigars that you see. I laid them down, uh, you can see behind each box a bottle. Now these uh, that I feel that they're most, uh, you know, that, that would makes actually the taste uh, even stand out even more. So I'm going to start with uh, not a very, very high end cigars. It's actually the Monte Cristo number no. two Cuban cigar. Uh, it's one of my favorite actually to smoke on a regular basis. Um, if you want to smoke, uh, smoke with the buddies and all that, you can enjoy it. Uh, you can see here a beautiful wrap. Um, this is a, a pure Cuban from the Monte Cristo line. To the right of it, you could see uh, the Coiba Maduro 5. This is the Magicos line, which is the shorter of the Maduros uh, that they have. It's also a Coiba. Uh, you can say it's a bit rare now. Uh, you can't find this anywhere. It's pretty much, there's a shortage on the market. But uh, this is this is a very good smoke that you can enjoy a bit uh, uh, smoky and uh, very 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 nice. You can see the wrapping on it. It's a very dark, very dark color. Uh, no, I'm not gonna mention the price wise, but the price is actually for these are pretty hefty here. And in, in the U.S. market or the Canadian market, it's a bit hefty. Uh, this I would prefer with the cigar malt downward. You know, this is a very uh, great bottle that you don't see here a lot. It comes once in a while, and if you can put a hand, you could put your hand on this one. Go for it. Uh, bit to the right. This is one of the newest edition I had. It's the Linea uh, Monte Cristo. There's actually three lines of this. This is the Leyenda. Uh, you also got the Dumas, and you got a uh, third one. They're actually into sizes of 52, 54, and 56, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this is the 56. Uh, it's really good. A very, very good smoke also. Uh, you can look at the texture. You can look at the wrapping. Uh, it's very, very high end. Pretty much pricey for, for the box of cigar. But you know what? If you are... Uh, cigar into uh, enthusiastic this is this is this is it um, I like to enjoy this with again another Dalmore this is a King Alexander version uh, it's, it's really really good the smoky taste you can see this bottle it's a new one pre already finished the other one uh, we're going on the next bottle here with this uh, very good whiskey that actually goes with, uh, with that bottle I'll get into the details of the taste and the cigars on uh, each one that you see here in the next episodes i'm going to smoke each one of them to give you my honest advice and also with the actual scotch that you could actually uh tell you the real taste of of those scotches uh let's move a little bit to the actual left there's another monte cristo limited edition 2016 this is the dantes uh this also is uh one of the rarest now that you could see here uh let's mention it it's a limitada 2016 limited edition uh, also a very good cigar for uh, people who like to enjoy it's light again won't go into the details of the taste but just to, for you to see the texture it's a limited edition and it's a great uh, great smoke that you like to, uh, you can enjoy now I'm gonna move to the king of cigars for me uh, this is one of the rarest if you have your hands on this take it if you are a collector like me and you like to keep you could probably keep it but I suggest that you can go ahead and actually smoke one of those babies. This is again 52, 54, and 56. This is uh, 56, the box. Uh, you can look at it, a very high-end box. Uh, Cuban again. Of course, all, all you see on the table is Cuban. I, I prefer Cuban cigars. These are actually my best, uh, my, my, you can say the, the best cigars that you can enjoy. You can look at the texture of this. It's really the creme of the creme of cigars. Like I said, if you can put your hands on one of this, uh, you you might as well want to keep this. So this uh, high-end cigar goes with high-end bottle. If you look at it, the 20 age, 21 years Dalmore. Uh, you notice I have a lot of Dalmors. I'm actually a big fan of this uh, of this whiskey. It's uh, it's really 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 good. I enjoy it with my smokes. It's pretty 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 good. But to the right, another Maduro, and this is the actual, we call it Genios. Genios for, uh, you could say that in the, uh, the English, English. This is the uh, bigger version of the Magicos that we saw earlier. Again, a very dark uh, leaf, the wrapper on that cigars. 
and very good smoke. Uh, if you like the oak taste and uh, ro robust cigars, this is this is it. This is one of the good cigars. Also very hard to find these days. Not sure what's going on in the market, but it's very hard to find and it's very pricey now. I like to enjoy this with the Glenmorangie 18 years. Um, yeah, minimum 18 years on this. I find it to be very smooth and it, and it, and it goes very good with the taste of, uh, of the actual cigar. Another limited edition of the Trinidad. This is the, the Topes uh, cigars. Uh, it's, it's a 56 gauge, if I'm not mistaken. And it's one of a kind. Uh, you'd see this, I think there's a few left on the market. And you can see a few left in the box. They are that good, actually. It's uh, it's a slow burner. Uh, you enjoy the taste. Again, a very dark leaf, as you can see. And you know, it, it's 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 a very very good smoke that actually goes. I I like to enjoy. Usually, I prefer single malt whiskey, but uh, in this case, I actually enjoy this with uh, the blended uh, 21 years old Shivas, as you can see here in the back. It's a good bottle and a good taste that actually goes with that cigar. That's that's my my taste. Um, another Trinidad. This is, I believe, that's another box. Okay, this is the. Uh, my goodness, what's the name of this one? I pretty much forgot this one. This is the Vigia. That is correct. This is the Vigia cigar. This is another Trinidad uh, that I could smoke. That could actually. It's not. It's not limited edition or anything, uh, but it's actually a very good cigar, a good smoke that you like to smoke with your buddies. Uh, and this is a bit lighter than the actual dark leaf that you could see there. And this goes good with uh, my, uh, one of my favorite bourbons, as you can see here, uh, this one here, the Special Reserve. Now, let's go to another king of the kings. This is the Cohiba Talisman. If you put your hands on this, you hit the jackpot. This is a cigar priced about $130. Uh, Canadian, probably about 100 US. It is very, very, very hard to find and very, very rare. You could see uh, the intensity. Uh, Talisman, this is a 2017 limited edition. I haven't smoked this yet, and I uh, will share that with you guys in the coming uh, days or weeks, and I'll tell you how, how this goes. So I can't really give you my honest opinion on it, but all I can say is it should be one of the top of the lines. I don't know if it's worth the price, but we'll see on this one. We'll get you back. And again, I'll go back to my Dalmer editions, and I'll go with the 15-year-old on this one. That's what I'm going to go with, and I'll uh, tell you how, how this goes, guys. Thank you. So stay tuned. I'll be... Uh, I'll be next. Uh, I'll be showing you more uh, next. Just hit the subscribe button, hit a like, and appreciate appreciate it, guys. And we'll go with this one by one for all these cigars enthusiasts. Have a good one.